Just Trying to Survive and Learn to Love Along the Way by Foreplay on AO3. Episode 83, Chapter 83 of Public and Private. Shota's gotten good at masking his emotions. He's been doing it for weeks now. While all he wanted to do is be with his friends and prepare for the trial with them, he knew he couldn't do that. Shoto needed all of his strength for today. Of course, he is the last one in their pre-trial room. Shoto is very aware of how nervous his friends were before they got pulled away. He wanted nothing more than to reach out to them. But he knows that if he did, then his mask would slip and he wouldn't be able to get on the stand today. The guard that comes from him is not a comforting presence. He's all scowls and hard glares, and he doesn't say a word to Shota when he leads him into the room. He walks as slow as he's allowed, taking in the faces of the crowd. Most of them are unfamiliar and very upset. Hopefully upset for his friend's sake, not endeavors. There's a few familiar faces. Present Mike sits near the front. He gives Shoto a reassuring smile when they make eye contact. Natsuo and Fujumi are also there as well. They sit on the same side as his teacher, just a few rows ahead of him. They also look upset, but there's something else there, something he can't place. It's when Shoto sits that he makes eye contact with Endeavor. He looks pissed. Shoto wouldn't be surprised if his ears started smoking in his rage. He knows, without a doubt, that if this doesn't end well in their favor, he's dead. If looks could kill, he would be already. They go over the exam incident quickly. Everyone here has already heard all about it, and Shoto is here for a different reason. Shoto, would you describe your relationship with your father? Strained. While talking with your classmates, some of them were under the impression that you guys were close. Can you elaborate? Sasami-san is calm, following the questions they've gone over. We were fine for a while, after he institutionalized my mother. Endeavor went to therapy and became a supportive father. But he changed back when Toya came back. Why is your mother institutionalized? The strain of an abusive husband got to her, so she poured boiling water on my face and gave me the scar. He gestures vaguely to his face. A few people gasped, and more made pity faces. Complete strangers feeling bad for him, when they don't even know the worst of it. Shoto's mask cracks, just a little. And how did Endeavor change when Toga came back? Suzumi-san looks sympathetic, because she already knows how this goes. Toya, my brother, was arrested. He refused to speak to anyone but me, so I went with Endeavor to see him. He wasn't telling him what he wanted to hear, so he was getting more angry and more angry. Shoto tries to keep composed as he continues, but he can't stop the buildup of tears. I didn't want to ask him questions, so Endeavor started yelling at me, and it was scary, like before. Toya tried to protect me, but Endeavor grabbed me. Shoto looks down. He doesn't need everyone seeing him lose his composure. He was holding on so tight. The only thing I could think of was before, and the memories that have made me had a panic attack. Toya calmed me down while Endeavor just watched what he had done. The room is silent, so Shoto looks up. Susumi-san looks remarkably more upset than before. Shoto must have not told her everything that had happened at the prison. He may have forgotten to mention his panic attack Endeavor gave him. Natsumi and Fuyumi are crying, and Shoto has to look away. Endeavor looks angrier than before. Can you explain by what you mean by before? Oh, before he got therapy. He must have forgotten to explain that as well. What was he like then? Scary. Obsessive. Can you elaborate on that? Shoto met her eyes once before, looking back down. His seat is elevated enough that people can probably see his tears. But it's a thought that counts, right? Endeavor has always wanted to beat All Might and become the number one hero. So he handpicked my mother for a quirk and started having children. 
Some of them weren't what he wanted, so he neglected them. Inoza Fayumi doesn't really see it that way. She always looked for the best in Endeavor, even when she was beating Shoto senseless. It started with Toya. He was a suitable quirk, so Endeavor started beating him and calling it training. Just before my quirk came in, my brother ran away, and Endeavor set his sights on me. He can practically feel the heated glare that Endeavor was sending him. No matter what he says, it wasn't training. He didn't teach me things. I guess he just wanted someone new to beat since his favorite punching bag ran away. Shoto is silent for long enough that susumi sans opens her mouth to speak. I've had enough of your lies, boy. He flinched back at the sound of Endeavor's voice. He'd finally gotten his tears under control, too. I'm a hero, and heroes don't hurt people. He stands up, ignoring the look from his lawyer. He's had enough of this. Shoto stands as well. If I'm lying, then explain this. He yanks up his shirt, blaring his torso to the courtroom. The tears running down his face are more angry than sad at this point, but he doubts anyone here can tell the difference. Shoto glares at himself in the mirror enough times to know that it's not pretty. There are more scars than unblemished skin, and he could see people's eyes catching on the huge handprint on his side. Endeavor is speechless, as if he had forgotten all about how he marked him. Shoto would have as well, if he didn't have to see it every day. He'd been stuck in the illusion of care that Endeavor created, and now regrets that now. Susumi-san gives him a look, so Shoto pulls his shirt back down and takes a seat. No further questions. She sits down, and the Hero Commission lawyer stands. Shoto wonders what the hell he's about to bring. Your Honor, I have none as well. I think we've heard enough. Not a single person looks away from the lawyer. Are you sure? You seem pretty intent with all your other witnesses. I thought you'd have something prepared. I did, but none of it is relevant anymore, Your Honor. The judge just raises his brow and nods to Shoto. He takes his leave, trying to ignore all the eyes on him. Suzumi-san speaks again as the door is shut behind him. I call Endeavor to the stand. As much as he'd like to witness that, Shoto needs to get back to his friends. He follows the same guard as before, and he looks just as angry as he did last time they walked together. When they get to the door, the god nearby shoves him inside. Clearly, he has better places to be. At first, it seems like there's no one in there. But then Shoto rounds the table, and there they are. Surprisingly enough, Izawa-sensei is the only one conscious. Izuku's curled up next to him, face red from what he presumes is a lot of crying. Next to them, Kirishima is curled up in a similar way against Hawks. Not that he could tell much with the way his wings are draped over his friend. Shoto moves then, sinking down next to his teacher. Izawa-sensei raises his free arm, and he ducks under it, trying not to feel embarrassed. He could use a nap, too. I'm pretty sure that the Hero Commission lawyer saw the scars and it's just like, oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, there's no, there's nothing I could say or do here to twist or, or whatever. I'm glad that that happened. I'm glad that he wasn't berated and, and I, I'm glad about that. I hate that Endeavor spoke up and called him a liar, but whatever. I, I feel like that whole lifting up the shirt, showing the scars was one last hurrah. You know, I know if I had physical scars, something that physically proved that my abuser was an abuser and I was able to prove that in a court of law where no one can refute it no one could say no it would feel so liberating because like I think one of the biggest issues especially with abusers and in 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 Shoto's case specifically right is people not believing that your abuser is an abuser and I mean like you know socially speaking outside of like you know, big, you know, celebrity cases or, you know, hero cases in My Hero Academia. Um, this is an issue, especially when, like, you're trying to prove to your friends that, hey, this person that we've trusted is actually my abuser and stuff like that. It can be hard. It can be, it can be difficult, but, um, it can be proven. And I'm glad that Shoto had that moment. You know, it, it's probably really healing to have that moment of, like, fuck you. You know, I... I would love to have a moment like that and I'm sure Shoto loves that moment that he has and yeah, 
we, we had some emotional moments. A little nap time, a little cuddle session with all, all of them seems reasonable, you know? I also would very much love to see Endeavor's case. Uh, Endeavor's questioning. I would pay to see that shit. That shit is gonna be funny as fuck. Anyways, as always, my rain drops. Make sure to eat, sleep, drink water, take your meds. Have a wonderful day or night. Link to my Discord server and socials are down in the description. Subscribe to see more of my content, and thank you so much for watching.